Hi, my name is Margo, and this is Growing My Veggie Garden. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Building My Veggie Garden. Today, we have the pleasure of introducing our new gardener, Margot Pomeroy. She's an environmental scientist and a permaculturist. What is an environmental science? That's a good question. It is the field of science that studies the effects and relationships of the physical, chemical, and biological aspects of the environment to bring solutions to climate problems that we all face. What does an environmental science do? One of the biggest and most important things that environmental science is doing is helping to recycle solid waste. This is an issue because landfills in our urban areas are being exhausted and we need to find new ways to dispose of our trash. And what is permaculture? It is a philosophy aiming to create garden designs inspired by nature to make food production easier and more sustainable. The designs are based on science and are meant to be adaptable, productive, and restorable. What are the benefits of permaculture, you may ask? It supports the environment by keeping your garden chemical free, and in other words, it uses natural resources to get rid of pests, weeds, and molds. Permaculture also helps reduce the amount of trash we send to the landfills by recycling it. I've actually had the interesting um, experience of studying environmental science and having a permaculture certificate of design without having a lot of practical gardening knowledge. Uh, and you find there's so many nuances. You have to learn, you know, different pests that are local to you, diseases, uh, and just getting a sense for every individual type of plant and even sometimes variety that you want to put in your garden. What are the benefits of growing your own vegetables? It is better for the environment because it reduces our carbon footprint and it reduces the need for plastic and chemical pesticides. Growing your own veggies also helps you in a personal way by improving your mental health and well being. This is my veggie garden. We're here in St. Pete, Florida at a community garden locally. I have this plot with my two friends and it's lovely sharing responsibilities and building community. And we're just about entering our first full year of gardening here. The reason we decided to get a community plot was a strong desire to live our values. Um, as someone who studied environmental science, it became really clear how unsustainable food systems are. But unfortunately, sustainable food systems can be inaccessible price-wise uh, for buying and consuming food. Uh, so, you know, we got this garden plot and it turned out into this beautiful experience and we end up getting so much more from our garden than just food. The thing that's so important to know about food systems is that, you know, whenever a single piece of food is created, there's so much that goes into it. Uh, you know, fossil fuels to run machinery, chemical or organic fertilizers, which come from somewhere uh, and have to be processed generally, and then, you know, getting a food item processed itself, packaged, and then transported. And all of those things have a really negative impact on the environment, which I'm trying to avoid. Uh, and so it's really vital to kind of build a local food system so that food doesn't have to travel as far. There's more connection with people, you know, the environment, wildlife, uh, kind of a whole systems approach. And that's really something that uh, was so important to me while studying both environmental science and permaculture. Uh, and it's something that's been really lovely to finally experience um, for myself. Because <laughs> uh, gardening uh, can be limiting uh, if you don't have the space for it. And so that's why having a community garden locally is such an amazing opportunity. What are some of the benefits of sharing a patch in a community garden? It supports a gardener by building a community of gardeners. It helps by sharing the duties of taking care of the garden. It's also beneficial because gardeners can share knowledge and solutions about questions and issues that they may encounter in their own garden. 
and it helps by growing the maximum amount of food in a small space. Some of the benefits that I really found uh, while doing the garden is the community, you know, building aspects as well as, you know, it's so helpful to have friends to work with and have, you know, days where we have like an inundation of weeds or pests, um, you know, working together to create something beautiful and productive. Uh, and that's a big part too with rising food costs. It's so nice to know that I can enjoy fresh food without having to worry uh, and I can make the food I have stretch a lot more uh, without having to visit the grocery store and again leading to those kind of climate related aspects um, of our food system. The first thing I learned from my experience gardening is just how much time and you know um, experience it takes to learn the nuances of each plant and their common pests and diseases uh, and on top of that it was very jarring gardening in uh, Florida, which I've never really studied before because we have a unique climate uh, and a lot, a lot of pests because we don't have a winter die off the way that most states up north do. Um, so learning kind of what does best, often more tropical varieties of plants and less so common varieties that you would find in your, you know, grocery store. Uh, and then on top of that, you know, how to manage the plentiful pest populations that we have. So that's been our biggest struggle here in the garden. Um, as you can see here, we have um, aphids, which are actually interestingly a flying variety of aphids. And those can kind of damage the leaves over time and create kind of a rust uh, appearance. And then we actually had a total wipeout of our squash. I had a cucumber and a zucchini and across the garden, this has been the case including one kind of last surviving squash we have, which we got a specific moth pest that lays little caterpillars. They just decimate all the squashes and cucumbers and whatnot, uh, which is unfortunate loss. We still got a lot of produce first, but uh, it's just another thing to learn. And I feel like that's been the whole experience. It's just having, um, you know, to learn each of these little things as they kind of become relevant. Thank you for visiting with me today in the garden. Uh, I hope you're interested in some of the content and learning about environmental science and how it can impact your garden. Have a lovely day. Thank you for tuning in. It's always great to have you in our patch. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our social media channels and we'll see you next time. Bye.